but I had just received that the day before the meeting, and it wasn't on the agenda because I didn't have time to place right. it on there. Mm -hmm. The commission at the November 8th meeting asked me to put it on today's agenda. That's right, we did. Because Ransom Law Office has invoiced us for $19,452.51. The outstanding order, that we've discussed mm -hmm. two previous times. So. That's correct. Okay. So in order to uh, discuss this further, I felt we needed on the agenda, so that's why I should. Um, I think that, speaking for myself, that at this juncture, it's, it was inappropriate for Ransom Law Office to invoice us directly. Yes, as, I, they've as invoiced me about. and I've brought it to your all's attention. Right. I, had no, I didn't realize they had done that. Of course. Um, they didn't CC me with it. Understood. Um, We've discussed it. You all discussed it and tabled it, and so that's just where yeah. it was. In fact, As I understand it, the, the the obligation at present is to you personally to pay that. And I know in previous meetings we've talked here at the commission about us paying it for you, but we've taken no action on that. Mm -hmm. so. I did at the last meeting when Donna was here in September. Uh, the commission asked me to submit a claim to our insurance company. Yes, I did do right. that to Graham. And there's a response from the insurance company attached to each one of your invoices there. Okay. You know, what they told me. Is this towards the back? It, it's a letter Chartist. from Chartist, which is the insurance carrier. Okay. I'll just read part of it here. In considering your request for coverage, we have carefully reviewed the insurance policy referenced above as well as the allegations asserted. No other policies were considered. If you assert the right to coverage under another policy issued by any other, member, any other member company of American International Group, please submit notice pursuant to the notice provisions contained in the policy. Based on the information we have received to date, the following sets forth a summary of the above captioned matter. Um, skip ahead. We have reviewed this matter and we are of the opinion that the above referenced policy will not provide coverage for this matter. This claim arises from a complaint filed with an administrator in the body. So we did check the insurance yeah. company that, that unfortunately did. Okay. Um, I, again, speaking for myself, I don't feel that anything's changed in the, in the matter to date, and I don't think it would be proper for the county commission at this stage to, to pay this invoice. Okay. I'll ask the other commissioners to speak their feelings on that. I agree. It's improper for us to pay it. Well, it kind of bothers me that we directly got submitted a bill mm -hmm. as David Fleming president. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I, I didn't. I mean, I don't know what led them on that path. I don't either. Well, I, I suspect I'm they not, were tired uh, of not being paid in some sense or another well, and just came and to us to see what would happen. Uh, they've I'm not, they've not been my counsel since July. Right. So, like I said, I was unaware that they had done that and they did not CC me with that. Understood. Um, so you think they just took this to I think, themselves? yes, I do. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had to. I would imagine so. I'm, I'm, I mean. But you submitted this bill to us before. Yeah, you? that's the same one. But I was unaware that they had, they had taken this avenue apparently recently. Mm -hmm. um, they so in a sense, the item tonight is really about us uh, responding to the Ransom Law Office directly, them, not yes. to you, actually. Thank you for being here. I understand you're interested to see what's going on as well. Yeah. Um, so uh, Part of the do you I feel there's any like reason to pay this? I think if, along with the same deal with Mr. Alderman, we need to wait to settle and figure out okay. what the outcome is. Well, they give but, you a... Uh, Update on that, the final hearing okay. you set for the first week of February. And we have okay. uh, conducted uh, the last two weeks, uh, two of the six depositions, and the other four next week. So it is. You'd asked the last time, Jamie, when when was the end? Right. I have an end. <laughs> I'm, I'm very thankful for that as well. I'd like for it to be over. Um, okay. Well, has it been? Wasn't there a hearing set for some time? Uh, it was month? set for October. Okay. Um, they got that one got moved to February, and these depositions got set in between. They hadn't. Um, and what the, was the reasoning we'll, for moving it? Was there to to get this the uh, testimony on record uh, so that we them and us both knew um, there's 
really five primary complaints. The court, all they did was take, well, you really just four, um, no, three. They took letters from the sheriff, former Deputy Totten, and Deputy Cole, and that's the basis of the complaint. The court just attached their letters so um, to get testimony on the record is sworn of the sheriff, uh, former Deputy Totten, okay. and Deputy Cole, and both judges. Uh, the, the two judges were last week and the week before, and this coming week on the other three. To go get their testimony already on the record and sworn before we have the actual hearing. That's a whole lot of it's uh, not what's in the complaint. Once you have to raise your hand and swear to what you're testifying to, it's turning out to be a little different. What I would like to do with this, if I may, um, please keep a surprise. I will. And um, I don't think we're going to entertain any action on this tonight. Are you going to write them back? So, are you going to contact them and just say we're not paying it? Or what are we so doing? I would like to ask Sue if you would contact uh, Ransom Laws and tell them that we're not uh, paying this invoice at this time. I'm not prepared to like, wait for the matter to work itself out. If you'd like me to write a letter, I think I need a motion to... Okay. To... I move that we contact Ransom Law Offices regarding this invoice and inform them that we're not paying it at this time. What do you say at this time? It, you, we should also add that it's not covered under our liability policy. We can add that text as well. I don't know what they care about that, but they're fine. Well, I'm not, I just don't see our obligation to pay it. I don't either. Period. So that's a motion. Not